This fish farm is good, but it could be better. Hey guys, Profe Pablo here. You have seen this fish farm before. Pretty basic farm. You have the bobber that falls down into a hopper. When you retract it, it releases its loot into a chest or a barrel. Kind of a bedrock glitch in a semi-AFK fish farm, but there are some better options that can improve this. And that is what we are going to look at today. I know, I know, you guys voted on iron farms recently. I'm working on that video, give me a second. All right, let's do this. So before we actually improve this farm, let me show you how to build this farm. So to build this farm, you take a block, oh, poor sheep, place a chest in front of that block, and then you surround the build with trap doors, except for the front. Then you want to dig one, two blocks right here, one, two blocks right there. Now you can use a chest or a barrel right there. Then you want a hopper collecting your loot. And we used to be able to put signs on the front of this chest, but now you can edit these signs. So you can't do that anymore because when you have the fishing rod and you aim at it, it wants to write. So instead of a sign, we are going to crouch and put a banner on the front. Now we're going to break this block, waterlog the chest, and place water here. Then you could just fish to your heart's content. When you catch a fish, the bobber drops, then you just retract it and your loot goes in here. Okay, now let's make it better. Okay, step one to making this thing better. You need a fish back here. That increases the rates. You don't need multiple fish. I actually ran a test on that. It didn't seem to make a difference. And I also thought that you needed a very large area here full of water, at least five by five. I ran tests on that and didn't really notice a difference. So just one fish should be fine. So after you place the fish, there's actually stuff that we're going to do down here. Now you've probably seen builds where they have lava. That's really important. And a lot of this I'm stealing from JC Plays, but I actually made improvements on his build. I'm going to leave a link to his build down below. Okay, so in my version of this build, we are going to break these blocks. I'm going to carve myself out some space. I'm going to come a total of one, two, three, four blocks deep. So you have your farm right here, and I'm going to come one, two blocks to the side, that same depth. And as you can see, I'm carving my way this way to give me some space. And what I'm going to do down here is place down a double chest, place a hopper going into that chest, then I'm going to place a button on this hopper like that. And that button's really important because it keeps the lava that I'm going to place from going down in here. I'm going to take a temporary block, place down a rail, place down a minecart with a hopper and push that onto the hopper right there. I'm going to take a glass block, place it there, break these. And then lava is going to go right here on top of this minecart with a hopper. I'm just going to place some blocks to keep it contained. I'm going to go ahead and place down the lava right here on the block above the minecart with a hopper. And now what that did is it created a way for us to throw our fishing rod and it will automatically retract. And it won't waste the durability of our fishing rod ever. So that's really nice. But we're not quite done yet. So without breaking this and getting the lava everywhere, what I'm going to do is carve out on this side of the lava. I'm going to place a comparator here facing out. Then I'm going to come over here, right here, dig straight down. That should get us to our comparator. Okay, good. So we have a comparator. We can use a solid block of our choice. We will need a redstone torch, a block on top of that redstone torch, another redstone torch, and a redstone lamp right there. So now watch what's going to happen. We're going to throw our fishing rod. Boom, you see that? When we caught a fish, this thing lit up, triggering us to go ahead and cast our rod again. Now, I know you could do that based off of the sound, but this is important for me because a lot of times I'll miss the sound, but I'll see the light, triggering me to throw my rod again. Now, this is all cool, but I want to know what I'm getting down here below when I catch it. Because it gets sucked in here so fast I can't see it. So we're going to do a little tricky something here. I'm going to break this double chest. Lay down a dropper facing up. Then I'm going to connect that by putting a hopper into there. So now what I'm going to do is take glass and place it up here like this. One, two, three. Do the same over here. Except I'm going to go one lower 
Then this side, place some solid blocks here, there, just like that. Actually, I'm gonna come up one more like this. Let me show you why. Come two blocks this way. I'm gonna place my double chest up here with a hopper going into that chest like that. Place glass blocks all the way around like this and lay down buckets of water right here, 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 all the way to the top. Just like that. Now I know this looks a little funky. I'm gonna show you why I'm doing this in just a second. Now I need some redstone down here. Oh, it's dark down here with this pack. Let me turn on some light. So I'm actually going to place a comparator here and that's facing out. A repeater facing out as well, right over there. Let me get closer. There we go. Then I'm going to do redstone, redstone, all the way connecting back this way. Then I'm gonna have redstone come back this way and connect back into this dropper. So comparator facing out, repeater facing out, redstone all the way around here and going back into the dropper. And I might have to turn this texture pack off so that we can see it. But on a normal texture pack, uh, we can barely see it. We gotta, I'm gonna have to turn this off temporarily. <laughs> there we go, everything looks so bland now. So watch, you cast your rod in there. When you catch something, you get to see it float up so that you know what you caught. You can go ahead and cast again and it goes into the chest. See, you can see it. Now let's make this thing look super nice so it doesn't look as ugly. Cool, and we don't accidentally want to fall into our lava, so boom. Except now we can crouch and do it. <laughs> okay, and now we can stand here and fish to our heart's content. Light goes off, signaling that it's time to fish again. And we could see our catch coming up here. You know, I'm not much of a builder, more of a redstone guy, but not too bad. And that's how you make your fish farm better. I'm Profe Pablo, and as always, thanks for watching.